All right, hello everyone. Uh, so recently, Nintendo announced that they are making a new Zelda and Loftwing amiibo figure to be used with The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD, which is releasing in two months. So I thought I would take this video as an opportunity to sort of go over what it does, how it could potentially impact the speedrun of the game, or at least like the strategies that we might use. And also just go over a few other small things that the footage in uh, the little trailer that we get of this amiibo shows. Because I'm probably going to be speedrunning this game when it comes out, so may as well give my thoughts on what this could do so that you guys might know what to expect. Although I will say, you know, the game is still two months away from release, so... Anything that I say here might not necessarily be true when the game actually comes out, right? But with that out of the way, uh, let us begin with this. So, uh, we get some footage of uh, the Loftwing and Link flying here. Definitely looks like they're not using motion controls for this, given just how straight the Loftwing is flying. Um, we still don't know exactly how the Loftwing controls in the non-motion control scheme, which is interesting. Um, but we'll find that out eventually, I'm sure, just not in this trailer footage. And then we get this shot of Farron Woods. Nothing really special here. Uh, the game explains that you can go to the sky uh, with save statues in this game. Um, the UI here does look kind of small, at least compared to the original game. It also probably is not helped by the fact that the game is not taking up the full screen here. It's taking up, like, just this border so that they can, I guess, put text on the bottom here and have this big white space on the outside? Anyway. Uh, so, this is a mechanic that's in the game, and with this new Zelda and Loftwing amiibo, you can first call Phi, this is interesting, and then you can select the Use Amiibo option, which will give you the ability to scan an amiibo accessory with Phi, and this amiibo accessory specifically will allow you to return to the sky from, I don't want to say anywhere because that's probably not how it's going to work, but it will allow you to return to the sky from places on the surface, is what the implication here seems to be, right? So if you click yes, um, Link goes through this interesting animation uh, where, like, this is the animation the game uses when he's finished with a silent realm. Uh, it's interesting that they're using this one instead of maybe just, like, having him do, like, the sailcloth animation up, because it seems like what it does is then he uh, is able to call his Loftwing immediately to exit the sky. Also, here they're definitely using motion controls to control the Loftwing. Uh, and then, when you are on in the sky somewhere, you can tap the amiibo to return to the exact point that you had scanned the amiibo previously on the surface. They're very slow at going through this. <laughs> now Link is back in the exact same position. So this is obviously um, something that could be beneficial to uh, the routing of the game's speedrun, right? Because uh, this gives us the ability to essentially set a return point on the surface and then return to it whenever we like, more or less, as long as we're in the sky, probably. Again, there's probably some sort of restriction that they're putting on this because if they don't put any restrictions on, like, where you can set a return point and where you're able to return to these return points from, then it's very easy to sequence break the game. So I'd imagine they're putting some restrictions on this in some form. Um, and we also don't really know what the exact implementation is of this yet, right? Like, we know that, okay, we can set return points on the surface, probably not everywhere, but we know that we can at least do it on the overworld in general and inside dungeons, because they do show dungeons later on. Uh, yeah, so you can still use it in dungeons. This is the Skyview Temple. Um, but again, there are still some implementation questions here that would affect how uh, this element of the game actually works. Um, 
so like for instance one of the things that we were talking about in the skyward sword speedrunning community is whether or not the game would save Link's exact position where he is when you use the amiibo, or if it would save his respawn position uh, of where he is or where he was when you use the amiibo. Because, like, say you're on some moving platform in a dungeon, right? Uh, where the platform is not in its default position that it's in when the dungeon is loaded, then if you use the amiibo to return to the sky and then return back, and the platform is now back to a different position, and Link essentially just spawns in midair. You've essentially created a soft lock scenario there, right? So, my guess is that they're going to be saving Link's respawn position, because saving his respawn position would get rid of a lot of those kinds of issues that would arise from uh, implementing this kind of feature where you can just set a return point anywhere, more or less. Um... And another question that would be big for, like, the potential speedrun routes is, do return points get deleted if you create one and go to the sky, and then, say, go to a different region, right? Like, if you set a return point in Farron, and then return to the surface on either Lanayru, Elden, or Farron, does your previous return point get overwritten or just straight-up deleted, right? Because if you can, you know, set a return point in Farron, go do something in, like, Elden, and then go to the sky, uh, then that's going to be open to a lot more uses than just, you know, returning from some region on the surface, going to do something in the sky, and then returning to that region again. Uh, like, if it works such that you can only return to uh, the region that you were from, and you're not allowed to visit other regions else your return point would get destroyed or deleted or something, um, then, you know, the, the uses are probably going to be pretty limited for, uh, like, speedrun routing. You'd probably only use it to, like, return to Farron a few times, probably. Um, because, you know, most of the time with uh, the speedrun route of this game, you're not, you know, you're not specifically doing something in a surface area and then going to the sky to do something, and then returning to the exact same surface area, right? Usually doing something in one surface area, then you're going to a different surface area, then maybe doing something in the sky, but you're very rarely going from, you know, Farron back to the sky, and then back to Farron again, uh, if that makes sense. There are a few times where that could be useful, though, right? Like, say, after you defeat the Imprisoned 2, uh, you could return to the sky, do a bunch of stuff to set up the Song of the Hero quest, and then from Levias, uh, return to Farron, and then start, like, Imprison 3 in the Tadtone sequence, right? That would be able to, like, skip the return flight from Levias to Farron, which would save a little bit of time, I guess. Um, but, yeah, it's, if it's implemented in, like, the most restrictive way I can imagine, it's probably not going to be uh, as big a deal as people might think. Um, just because there simply aren't a lot of use cases for it in that restrictive sense, right? Um, so that's one thing to consider. Uh, the other interesting detail that we get from this is that because the amiibo is called um, using phi then this probably means that this functionality is available, like, very early on in the game, right? It's not something that you get, like, halfway through the game or, you know, later on in the game. Although, granted, again, it probably wouldn't be very useful early in the game because you don't backtrack to regions until uh, you get the harp item, which is already after the third dungeon. So, uh, probably wouldn't be useful before then anyway. So, I think that covers that specific point. And then, uh, there's one other interesting piece of information with this. Um, even though Phi, like, Phi has this very generic, you know, Master, please tap an amiibo accessory text. Uh, which also, by the way, another tangent, is uh, the only quick text we've seen so far in all of the footage of this game, right? So, uh, 
Like, this, this text just appears absolutely instantly, whereas all of the other text that we've seen so far uh, is text that tends to scroll kind of slowly. So, there is at least one line of quick text here, but if we look at this text, you know, it scrolls pretty slowly. It scrolls at, you know, one character every two frames at 60 FPS. Um, so, hopefully there's more quick text than this, but we'll just have to see. Uh, but anyway, back to what this actually says, um, right? Please tap an amiibo accessory. This feels like it's implying that there's, you know, multiple amiibo that can do something in Skyward Sword HD, but um, if we go to the official Nintendo website that describes what uh, this amiibo does uh, and, like, what it's used for, and we go to the bottom of the page... There's this piece of text, this line on the website that says, The Zelda and Loftwing amiibo figure is the only amiibo that can be used in the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Which is pretty surprising, um, considering the amount of amiibo that you can use in, you know, Twilight Princess HD and Breath of the Wild. The fact that there's only a single compatible amiibo for Skyward Sword HD is... Just, I mean, yeah, I don't think I have another way to describe it except just surprising. I would um, expect there to be, like, more than that, but I guess if, if this is actually what the case is, then uh, this, this is all we're getting amiibo-wise. <laughs> Which I guess is also kind of a bit of a blessing for the speedrun, because it means that, like, you know... There isn't going to be a scenario that ever crops up in the community where you need, like, 20 amiibo to be optimal in the speedrun for Skyward Sword HD, right? The most, you, the most you'll ever need is one, and that's it. So, at least that will at least sort of clamp down on the potential for amiibo to make the game, like, optimal in the sense that you would need to spend a bunch of money purchasing amiibo or a ton of NFC tags or something. But anyway, uh, I think that covers everything I wanted to talk about. So, uh, yeah, things could potentially get interesting routing-wise, but again, probably not going to save as much time as most people think. It might pretty much just allow us to skip a few backtracking sequences and stuff like that. But who knows? Maybe there will be some sort of exploit that we can do with this because... You know, <laughs> being able to set a return point in at any point on a map could potentially lead to unforeseen consequences. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, there was another video I did previously that goes over a bunch of the little details that I noticed in the first trailer that we saw for Skyward Sword HD. Um, if we see another trailer at like E3 or something, I might do like another sort of review of that one, I guess. But um this is all we have for now. Also, I can't believe I extended this to 13 and a half minutes, but <laughs> it was probably not 13 and a half minutes worth of information. Anyway, see ya.